Hello everybody and welcome to bowtieteacher.com. I'm Rob and in this video we're going to be looking at completing the square. Let's get started. So why are we interested in completing the square? Well, um, completing the square can give us a few extra bits of information about our graph. It'll allow us to find the minimum point or the maximum point if the, the quadratic is upside down. It will also allow us to find the equation of symmetry for the graph. So if we know where the midpoint of the graph is, i.e. The, the, the minimum, we can then put the equation of symmetry down the middle and we can find that value there. It also allows us to solve equations in another way, but you're unlikely to use this method unless you have to in the exam. So let's take a closer look at this completing the square method and then we can start to build up what we need to be able to do in the exam. So when we have our quadratic equation we'll have a minimum or maximum point at which we need to find that coordinate. Okay. Also the equation of symmetry would go vertically through that point and we can find the x value for that. So our equation of symmetry might be x equals negative 1, for example. So let's have a look at um, a basic quadratic, x squared plus 4x plus 6. To complete the square, we need to be able to divide the x term, so the coefficient of x by 2, and we're going to put that inside a double bracket. So we've got x plus 4 divided by 2, squared. Okay. Now, if we do that, x plus 2 squared, and we expand it again, we'll get x squared plus 2x plus another 2x plus 4. Okay, so if I just write that out in double brackets like this so it's more familiar, then that will give us x squared plus 4x plus 4. And you'll notice that that x squared plus 4x is exactly what we want for the first two terms, but we've introduced an extra plus 4, which we need to subtract again to balance this back out. So we always just subtract the 4 over 2 squared. So whatever this thing is here, we subtract that squared, and we've still got our plus 6 that was originally there. Okay. So if I write this underneath, we're going to have x plus 2 all squared minus 2 squared plus 6. So x plus 2 squared minus 4 plus 6 is plus 2. Okay, so we've now completed the square because we've taken this coefficient of x divided by 2, and when you square it and subtract the 2 squared, it balances this all back out. Okay, so what does this graph look like? Well, if we draw this here, then we can find the x and y coordinates of the, uh, the maximum or the minimum. In this case, it's a minimum because it's a normal x squared graph. So what we do is we look at the brackets, the x plus 2 squared. If we take the negative of whatever's in here, so in this case, minus 2, that will be the x-coordinate of the, uh, the minimum point, so that we know that the x-coordinate is going to be on this line, negative 2. Okay. The positive 2 here will be the y-coordinate of the minimum point, so something like this, 2. Here. So we know our graph is going to go through minus 2, comma 2, and if we put x equals 0 into this, then that will give us the y-intercept, so we know that it goes through 6, and our graph would look something like that. Okay. So completing the square has allowed us to find the minimum point at negative 2, 2. The equation of symmetry would just be a line going through here, x equals negative 2 is the line of symmetry, the line of symmetry of the graph. Okay, so that's in essence what you have to be able to do for completing the square. Um, in an exam, you could use this to solve this equation, 
okay not this particular equation it doesn't have any real roots because it doesn't cross the x-axis like that graph for example okay so this one is actually laying above the line and uh, we wouldn't be able to solve this in the, in the normal way so let's take a look at some examples of ones that would solve if we head over to um, bowtieteacher.com and go to GCSE Math we're just going to maximize this here you can log in or sign up if you want to save your progress I'm going to go to level 8 and completing the square so in the exam you would see this kind of strange way of um, asking the question of x plus p all squared plus q they might have different letters here but what they're trying to do is get you to complete the square this is the key to telling you to complete the square they're not going to say complete the square for example so we have here x squared minus 8x plus 5 okay so we have x squared minus 8x plus 5 we're going to half the b term to minus 4 and we're going to square that and if we want to just check x minus 4 all squared would give us x squared minus 8x plus 16 so we're still going to subtract even though it's a negative we're going to still subtract the 4 squared and add 5 okay so x minus 4 squared minus 16 plus 5 is minus 11 and so we can now sketch this graph because the x coordinate is going to be the negative of this so plus 4 so here and then the y coordinate will be negative 11 so down here when x equals 0 y equals 5 so it would also go through 5 and it would look something like this okay so this is how we can find the x and y coordinate of the minimum point here this would be 4 minus 11 okay now you may have to use completing the square to actually solve this equation so if I just put equals 0 here then that will allow us to find the x coordinates of the intersection here so I can solve this equation x minus 4 all squared if I rearrange this to put the 11 on the other side take the square root of both sides and don't forget your plus minus root 11 like that and then I'll take the 4 across and have 4 plus or minus root 11 so 4 minus root 11 is this one here 4 minus root 11 and 4 plus root 11 is that one there okay now like I say you probably wouldn't use completing the square to solve equations if you, unless you have to the um, class with calculator if I just take you to this one we'll go to menu and uh, sorry polynomial degree 2 and we're going to put in 1x squared negative 8x and 5 so this gives us our 4 plus root 11, 4 minus root 11 but if you actually press equals one more time x equals 4 that gives you the completed the square version so plus 4 then we take the negative that and that will give you the brackets for the completed the square version and press it again gives you the y coordinate of negative 11 so the calculator the class with will complete the square and it will generate these brackets for you so you can kind of work backwards if you didn't quite manage to do that okay so in the exam what are we looking for we're looking for this x plus p all squared plus q that's the clue to these completing the square and what that gives you it can solve equations it can find the, uh, min uh, the minimum here and it's another way of visualizing the graph for you okay I hope that was useful if you have any questions or comments please leave them below or you can email me at mrwakeling at bowtieteacher.com thank you very much and good luck